Was Certified it? Dirty Idol. <laughs> Certified Dirty <laughs> Idol. <laughs> we are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. It's a pain in the ass, but it pays good. Now, when you say pay good, a lot of guys are thinking about one day going owner operator, right? Yeah. Uh, what kind it, of money can you make on average if you are a, a step deck heavy hauler? You know, what kind of money can you make a month doing this kind of stuff? Um, I, I'm not going to go by the month. Okay. Because it's 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 like truck i mean it's trucking it's up and down i have made seventeen thousand dollars clear bring home in a week in a week in a week and i bring two or three thousand dollars home in a week i hear what you're saying but uh it's you can't put a number on it because it's so up and down and depending if you're with a good company um uh, i've been in this a long time and I've been, you know, around the big three. The big three is Landstar Ranger, Mercer, and Bennett. Bennett, you don't, you won't go no wrong. And when I say, there's shit with every company. Just some stinks more than others. You know, Jason, uh, we were just shooting the shit in the bar. Mm -hmm. And I told you, that uh, you know, I make interviews and I love to just speak the truth of people's lives because let's be honest here, as truck drivers, we get lost. Uh, I was 14 the first time I ever took a tanker on the interstate because you know I always rode. My mom raised me in a truck, so uh, first time she pulled over, it was a brand new Peterbilt, uh, cherry black, and I, I held days. I said, let me drive, let me drive. She finally pulled over. It was in uh, Kansas. She goes, here you go. I shifted out. I drove for about 100 miles. Uh, at 12 years old, 100 14, miles. 14, 14 uh, years 14 old. Years, like two more years gotta make a damn yeah. difference. Come on now. And I seen this yellow, green, black cloud coming up. And I've been on the road long enough. I know when a storm's about to hit, it's like, Oops. no, you can have it back. <laughs> Man, you know, I just heard you say that your mom raised you in a truck. So when you saying that, what my you My dad split when I was three years old. The only thing my mom knew was truck driving because, you know, all my family is were drivers. She put me in a cab over uh, Peterbilt and she named the truck Old Paint because they had the stripes on it and a uh, haul for John's man. A life like, brother. I mean, living... When you say you were raised it. in a truck, you were literally raised yeah. in a truck. Uh, I was probably 10 years old before I knew a doghouse was actually for a dog. I thought that was that hump in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was rough. Uh, Talk about it, brother. What, what was rough about it? Like, how, how did your mom, what was this, in the 80s? Yeah, early 80s, 80, 81. Uh, most, most men, uh, you know, it was a man's world. There was a lot of them that was okay with it, but you know that was no place for a woman, especially with a kid in the truck. She's supposed to be at home taking care of kids. And I remember her getting back in that truck crying because somebody done said something, you know, basically got on her ass or whatever for having a kid in the truck. But we had no home. She raised me in that truck until it's time for me to go to school and uh what were birthdays I, like man what, what what were birthday birthdays like for you it, it was just a normal day the last the very first birthday i remember the only thing i wanted was a new t-shirt that was a new t-shirt a new t-shirt that was it because i never why? had no new clothes <laughs> wow it was that rough back then i mean you know there wasn't no money no big money like that especially pulling an old reefer unit and especially for a woman she ran her ass off for very little, but she always made sure I had what I, I needed. 
uh, most stuff was hand-me-downs or you know what people would give but I my very first thought of on a birthday was you know I wanted a new shirt I wanted to smell it just wow. see what it was you know what it was like but uh and I guess to this day now I have over I got eight pairs of pants and about 70 shirts. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> if I see a shirt, I'm buying it. My wife knows I have a shirt fetish because I that was just part of, you know, being in a truck that, you know, not have no friends other than, you know, my entertainment was listening to old Merle and uh, my mom going down the road singing. And especially that song, Yellow Rose of Texas. Oh, yeah. She was born in Pasadena, so now she's a little old lady from Pasadena. She's just over 70 now, and she's still running the dump truck. She's still running the she's dump truck? She's still running the dump truck. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.